morning brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning to all the PWP and fellow AP members, uh, sisters and brothers. Uh, good morning Sister Elizabeth Villegas, Sister Vina Choco Ferrer, Brother Harvey Perez from the AP, PWP and Diocese of Novaliches, uh, Sister Susan Galvez, uh, Sister Rodip Dawayan, Sister Susan Minan, Sister Cristina San Pedro, uh, Sister Evangeline Cayastos, and, uh, and Brother Ronan Abardonado from the Apostolic Vicariate of the oh, Puerto Princesa Palawan, <coughs> and also Brother Patrick Paso, uh, Pasagui from the Diocese of Gumaca, Gumaca Quezon, uh, PWP and AP Chapter or APWP and AP Diocese of Gumanga Quezon, uh, Gumanga Quezon Chapter. Let's begin our liturgy of the hour morning prayer. Our summary will be taken away from page L50. Today is Thursday at August 11. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. On the holy mountain is a city, cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwelling, of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Babylon and Egypt will ever count among those who are lonely. Philistine, Tyre, and Ethiopia, these will be her children. And Zion shall be called mother, for all shall be her children. It is he, the Lord Most High, who gives each of these in his register of peoples. He writes, though these are her children, and there will be, and there will be, uh, well, they are dance, they will sing, in you all find home. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. Lord God, your only Son, who have overcharged each in Jerusalem, soon to be destroyed for its lack of faith. He established the new Jerusalem firmly upon rock and make it the mother of, your, of the faithful. Make us rejoice in your church and there, and grant that all people may be born into the freedom of your spirit. Antiphon 2, the Lord the mighty conqueror will come, he will bring he will bring him the prize of victory. He comes with power, the Lord God, he will rule by his strong arm. Here is the reward with him, here is recompense before him. Like a shepherd he plays his flock in his arms, he gathers in the lambs, carrying them in the blossom and meet them in the oaks with hair. Who is cup in his hands, the waters of the sea, and mark off the heavens with his palm? Who is held in the measure, the dust of the scale, dust of the earth, with the mountains in scale, and the hills in the balance? Who is direct the spirit of the Lord, or instruct him as his counselor, whom he did in soul to gain knowledge? Who taught him the path of judgment? Who show him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations come as a drop of the banker, or rust on the scale, the coast not sweet, no more than powder. Lebanon would not sufficient for few, nor its animals, but enough for holocaust before him. All nations as enough as nothing and woe he comes down. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
the Lord, the mighty conqueror, he will come, he will win him the prize of victory. Antiphon J, give praise to the Lord our God, bow down before his holy mountain. The Lord is king, the people trembles, he is shown on the cherubim, the, the earth quakes, the Lord the Lord is great in Zion, he is supreme over all the peoples. Let them praise his name so terrible and dense. He is holy, full of power. You are a king who loves what is right. You have established iniquity, justice and right. You have established them in Jacob. And so the Lord our God bowed down before Zion, his footstools. He, the Lord, is holy. Among his priests were Aaron and Moses. Among those who invoked his name was Samuel. There invoked the Lord, and he answered. To them he spoke in the pillar of cloud. There did his will. They kept the law, which he, the Lord, uh, had given. The Lord our God who answered them, for then you were a God who forgives yet the punishment of uh, all their offenses. And so the Lord our God bowed down before his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give praise to the Lord our God, bowed down before his holy mountain. God, you are the source of holiness. True, no one can see you and ever leave you. You give life mostly generously and in ever greater, greater way to restore it. Sanctify your peace to your life giving work and consecrate your people in his, in his blood until your eyes see your face. A reading from the prophet Peter. Let your love one another be constant, for love covers a multitude of sin. Be mutual in hospitality without complaining. As generous distributors of God, manifold grace, put your gifts and the service of one another, each in the measure he has received. The one who speaks is delivered God's message. The one who serves is to do is to do it with the strength provided by God and thus in all of you God is to be glorified to Jesus Christ responsibly from the depths of my heart I cry to you hear me O Lord from the depths of my heart I cry to you hear me O Lord I will do what your desire hear me O Lord Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From the depths of my heart, I cry to you, hear me, O Lord. Please, O stand for the canticle of Zechariah, and Tiphon. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will save us from our enemies. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us the mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. To his holy prophets he promised the Lord that he will save us from our enemies, from the hands of all you hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the old disport of Father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him in our fear. All your righteous in his sight, all our days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare this way. 
to give people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins in a tender compassion of all my God the dawn upon high shall be upon us to shine on those that dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen let us serve the lord in holiness and he will save us from our enemies intercessions let us joyfully cry out in thanks to god the father who loves guides and nourishes his people may you glorify your lord for all ages most merciful father we praise you for your love for you wondrously created created us and even more wondrously restored us to grace may we may, may you be glorified lord for all ages at the beginning of this day Fill our hearts with sin for saving you, so that our thoughts and, and actions may redound to your glory. May you be glorified, Lord, for all ages. Purify our hearts of every evil doers, evil desires. Make us intent on your on doing your, your will. May you be glorified, Lord, for all ages. Open our hearts to the needs of our men and women. Fill, fill us with your love. Fill us with paternal love. May you be glorified, Lord, for all ages. Our personal intentions. May you be glorified, Lord, for all ages. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this dear daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All powerful and ever living God, shine with the light of your regions of your on a people who live in the shadow of death. Let the dawn from on high break upon us, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit. One God, forever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The Daily Offering O Jesus, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, we offer you all our prayers, words, joys, and sufferings of this day, in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. We offer them for the intentions of your most sacred heart, for the salvation of souls, Reparation for sins and the reunion of all Christians. We offer them for the intentions of our bishop and all the apostles of prayer, and in particular for those that are recommended by the Holy Father for this month, for the month of August. For small businesses, we pray for small and medium, for small and medium-sized businesses, in the midst of economic and social crisis. May they find ways to continue operating and serving their communities. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forget those trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. For the grace the Lord is with thee. And stop thou amongst women unless this is the fruit of our own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The vocation prayer habit. Lord Jesus, it all the apostles, pray therefore the Lord that the harvest to send laborers to this harvest. We beg you, send many and holy priests and religious in our diocese, and in the whole world, have mercy on us. Grant, O Lord, the grace of perseverance and fidelity to those you have called. We trust in you. Mary, Mother of Vocations, pray for us. 
Saint Hannibal, pray for us. Saint John Mary Vianney, pray for us. And O Lord, Holy Apostle, sing to your church.